Hey everybody, the Bong is back. Welcome to part 14 of Let's Play Landstalker, The Treasures of King Knoll, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Okay, I'm gonna head back to just before the entrance to Green Maze because I realize I forgot something. You know that room I was in with the two gargoyle statues and the two enemies that can shoot fire? Yeah, well, apparently I was supposed to defeat those enemies and then come back here. I believe this is the room. I'm not 100% sure on that one. Yep, I think it is. The problem is actually hitting these scum. Because they teleport from you for like absolutely no reason. And for some reason that first hit didn't do anything. Alright, so we gotta head back here now that those two enemies are dead. Uh, something should have triggered. Don't think it did. Oh, wait a minute, the chest is over here. Okay, that would, that would explain why I found nothing the first time. That you have to take care of those enemies and then you can go get that chest. Alright, so I guess we're heading for Ryuma now, which is gonna be good for us. Actually gonna make some progress. Wow, did that flame actually still touch me? I didn't even see it on screen at that time. That was so strange. Alright, so I'll meet you back in Ryuma, and that should only take like a couple minutes or so. Alright, we made it back to Ryuma, so let's go to that lighthouse. Let's see what happened to it anyway. Was it really crumbled down and the sunstone's just gonna magically make it reappear again? Was Duke Mercator really such a rogue? Apparently he was. Huh, <laughs> that, when that apprentice guy stole the sunstone. Well, I just happened to get it back. All we have to do is just head back to the top of the lighthouse. We were there before and nothing really happened. But I guess it should now. Whoa, it's seen better days. Oh, the sunstone! How did you get it? I can fix the lighthouse with this. Please do. Yo-ho! Yes, I like how the uh, sunstone can magically make those pillars fixed as well. Thanks to you, the lighthouse is now completely restored. I locked it up so we won't have to go through that again. Is it really gonna make that much of a difference? But, fine. I'll take this life stock, so now I have 40 HP. Wow, that's a lot of health at this point of the game. Alright, so our main destination should be like the next town we haven't really been to. I think it's Verla? However, we can't really go there because, well, well, we can. There's just a bit of a side quest that's left to do. I believe you get that side quest in Masson. So I suppose I can just use the uh, tree to warp back. Just gotta, like, head back there and remind everyone where it is. I think I remember it was just, like, near Gumi, so to speak. Near those crossroads. So at this point, you could pretty much just annihilate these enemies with one hit. Yeah, I remember it's gotta be this tree, because the bigger one is, Ty is Tibor. That allowed me to create all these shortcuts in the first place. And the reason why you need to go to Masson is because, well, we did get this whistle that allows us to talk to dogs. So, I don't know if I had to use the whistle or just talk to the dog. Oh! You can understand me? I'm a girl, or... Well, at least I was until Helga, a witch in the woods east of Mercator, changed me into a dog. Marty, my sweetheart, is also under her spell. She's made him into her pet. Oh, how my heart longs to see him. Uh, but I can't. Helga told us we can never return to our human forms if we meet each other in these figures. A curse on us will never be lifted unless Helga dies. Oh! That sounds very dark, but we're gonna have to do it. Oh wait, that's the charge. I don't want to save. I was thinking about actually just buying some more e-geeks because I'm pretty low on them. I'm trying to remember where the shop was. I think it was this building. Yes, you may help me. Luckily, it's only 15 gold. So I might as well just use one of them right now. Rather than go to the inn. Which would have been a little bit more convenient than meh. Alright, I think that's good. So, I was at Helga's before. 
why don't we actually get close to there? And I believe that's around Mercator? Actually, I might as well just head there right now. We're actually getting, like, a lot done. What is, like, the 14th episode of this Let's Play? And already I've gotten, like, 40 HP? When I, what did I start with? What, five? Yeah, yeah, I think it was five. If I recall. And sometimes I don't recall very well. But, we were down to Helga's before, but nothing really happened. Went through all those jumping puzzles for absolutely nothing. But, I guess now we can actually do something about it. If I remember, it was on the way to Mercator, but we gotta go northeast. So this little small path here. Just remember the boxes that you get here don't really do anything special. Oh, damn it. Whoa. All that damage I took in like a short period of time. You know, maybe I should use the crate just in case. Oh, God. Funny how I was able to clear that before the first time. All of a sudden, I can't do it. Any hey, hey! What was going on with the crate? It was actually... It was just being pushed around that... Oh, that's right. If you put, like, an obstacle on a moving platform, you don't move along with it. Now I had the physics a little messed up. Or the timing messed up, rather. Oh, this is... This still feels so weird to me. But here we are. I'm just gonna, like, put this pot on that moving platform. I don't know how we're gonna pull this off. This is gonna be the same thing. Well, I keep jumping repeatedly. That sometimes works. Have a little bit more control. Oh, great, now I'm trapped. Run away! Hurry! She'll change you into a dog! Hehehe! <laughs> Too late! You are now... a dog! Aww! And I can't attack. We cannot return to our original forms until that miserable witch is defeated. I'm gonna sniff your butt for a moment. Okay, I'm good. Oh, great, now we got ourselves a little mini dungeon. There's a ring over there. I would like to get that. But I can't reach, because I'm a dog. Oh, well. I should just play with these bones and just dig them underground. You know, dog things. Alright, so, it looks like there are no enemies, but this is strictly a jumping puzzle dungeon. And this is optional as well, so you don't really have to do this, but I recommend you do so. Because you do get some good stuff for it in the end. And that allows me to return if I wanted to. Hopefully these puzzles aren't, aren't, aren't too bad. I know there are some puzzles that are absolutely brutal for a human, let alone a dog. Um, what am I doing? Oh, is this like a spider solitaire or something? No, no, there's another game where you have to push switches around. I got rid of that switch completely. And it allows you to push other ones around, like so. Don't know if I'm doing this correctly. Guess I'm supposed to put the switches in specific spots where they can be pushed permanently. Problem is, they're not being shifted the way I want them to. Like, I feel like I should be able to do more. I don't think this is it. Maybe this is it. I can't really get those switches anywhere else. I mean, look. Nothing happens. I'm guessing it's only two switches I need to bother myself with. I'm hoping that's what it is. Please tell me I'm gonna get somewhere with this. That looks so complex. Oh! I think that was what I needed to do. Yeah, because that block is now down. 
Please give me a different kind of puzzle rather than that one. Oh, jeez. Oh, this looks violent. Well, wait a minute. How the hell do I push that other switch? Wait, am I supposed to ride the marbles? We don't get enough time for this. I mean, look! You just gotta be hope that you're lucky enough to land on them. Oh, this is so ridiculous. How do people figure this out? Like, as soon as you jump on the switch, you're screwed. Do you think you have enough time for this? Hmm. Oh, I screwed it up immediately. Oh, you have to be so fast. Oh, if only I had like a dash option. No. Look, as soon as you get off, that platform is gonna push you out of the way. Like how? You gotta make sure that you get on the marble, and then you gotta make sure you can walk onto the other one. That is so ass! How does one figure this out? Oh, oh, oh! I think I can do it! Oh god, this one's going way too fast! I knew it! I knew I was gonna have that one up. Oh my god. I did it! Oh, I thought that was going to take a hundred years. Oh, jeez, I need a coffee. Hmm. Oh, like, just inject it into my veins. Jeez. I thought the first one was bad. This one I just took was even worse. Okay, now we got to do yet another puzzle. So apparently that's required to take out those gray blocks. Okay. Time to put my doggy skills to the test. Wait a minute. Okay, I see what I need to do. Oh, I botched it. Like, I missed the damn button. Oh, 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 oh. Yes. Oh, make it, make it, make it, make it! Oh, yes! Okay, how do I get back? Oh, don't tell me. Better not be trapped. Guys, I, I, I think I'm stuck. How do I escape? Oh, okay, I wasn't even fully on the switch, that's why. Well, that one wasn't too bad. It was just an obstacle course. That's all it was. Phew, I thought I actually trapped myself. Okay, so I believe there's only one more puzzle after this. I'm not sure. Like I said, this is completely optional, and of course it's going to be hard. Yep, there is another block. Then we should be in the depths of this dungeon. They don't give you any enemies to fight, which is good. Because you can't really fight. Let's see, um... Oh, that's what I can understand. The platforms are probably just gonna collapse as soon as you land on them. So, you just gotta be quick. This part could be tricky, because you gotta make that little bend. Wait, do those platforms even pop back up? Oh, they don't, so you have to leave and then return. That part's kind of tedious, then. 
Oh, I couldn't make that turn good enough. One more try. Hopefully this will work. Oh, oh, oh. Yes! If I missed a switch, I would have been so angry with myself. And that's the game's fault. They make the switches so small. You can easily miss them. Okay, we're in the clear. What else is waiting for me at the very bottom? But how am I gonna kill this witch if I can't even fight? This will be interesting. Hehehe! <laughs> so, you finally made it. I don't know why, but you seem to be fatal to me. I think you better die now, hehehe! <laughs> can't move, can you? Ha! Ah, your life will come to an end when I press the switch. Let's see now. Which switch is it? Maybe this one. Ah, I made a mistake. What a wigged out witch. Now, let's go. Wow, that was a very tacky death, but I'll accept it. That's the one that would have killed me. But she was just an idiot. It's like Ozzy from Chrono Trigger all over again. Like seriously, that death was just awful. Alright, we made it through. We're done with this place. So, we shall get out of here. You know, I would still like to get that ring. Now that I'm back to elf form. Let's get it. Oh, it's called a Saturn Stone. Okay, this will definitely come in handy. The Saturn Stone, it actually doubles the rate in which your weapon charges up. So, you went through this side quest for an item like that. Thanks again for all you've done. Thank you, thank you! Marty and I will make this house our home now. You're, you're gonna make it look exactly like this? That, that sounds very romantic. Okay, do whatever you want with that home. It's no skin off my scrotum that you're living in pretty much a witch's den that probably reeks of dead bodies and stuff. Maybe you can make that a home. I don't know. Mike Holmes probably wouldn't touch that shit in a heartbeat. Okay, so... Well, I guess since I'm in this area, let me go back to Mercator because there is a variety shop that opened thanks to me. And I would like to invest in it. Plus, I'd also like to go to the inn, so I can go to the next town. I think it's Verla. So we'll deal with that shortly. Besides, I got lots of money. I might as well spend some of it. So glad I got this item. It's really saving my ass when it comes to utilizing the full potential of my weapon. I gotta remember the variety shop is on the second part of Mercator, which is here. You'll lower the price for me? Okay. Our finest oracle stone. 1,500 golds? Well, I'm glad you're feeling very happy. Bargain basement prices? That doesn't seem like much of a basement price. Find a spell book. How much does that cost? Alright, I think now would be a good time to stop the episode here in the next part. Um, the Oracle Stone actually shows you your percentage. So stay tuned for the next part. Goodbye.